What's up Guardians? Welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. In this video I'm going to be showing you some of the uh, highlights from the scrimmage that we had with Sir Demetrius and a couple of his friends Fable and Anbu. Uh, you may be familiar with those names. They do sweaties uh, all the time. So they're pretty used to this sort of thing. Uh, we are not. <laughs> we, um, we rarely do scrimmages and sweaties. Uh, but when we do, it, part of the reason why we don't do it very often is because we legitimately hate the uh, sweaty kind of um, setting right now. It's, it really is, it's all last words and thorns uh, with blink and blade dancing with quick draw and uh, sun singers with um, viking funeral. It's just all kinds of burns and insta kills and it's quite honestly there's little gunplay. It does take skill. I'm not saying there's no skill involved. There's definitely skill involved, but it's just a lot less gunplay than we like, and uh, feels it feels a lot less competitive than it ought to. So, anyways, so we did this scrimmage because it was a Mita. Mita multi tool was the only primary allowed, so that limited things significantly. We also said no Sun Singer, no Blade Dancer. So uh, naturally, and we also said no Blink. So naturally, uh, all of us went uh, Gunslinger. <laughs> And uh, had a whole lot of fun, you know, whipping around some throwing knives, and it was just all, all around a good time using um, using weapons like Mida and uh, lots more gunplay and sniper skill involved. So we had a lot of fun with it, and it was part of a uh, charity stream that we did with uh, Manny uh, on Manigator stream. Now I apologize, there's no, um, I didn't record any voice audio, so you're not going to hear our callouts or anything, which is kind of bummer. I honestly didn't think about it at the time. I was more focused on the uh, scrimmage itself, but if you want to hear the live uh, sort of commentary, you can check out uh, Manigator's uh, Twitch channel, and it, it'll be in his recent uh, streams, so you can actually watch the video. Now, it was a 12-hour stream that he did, so you're going to want to fast forward all the way to the end. The last uh, two hours of it will be our scrimmage. So you can check that out. We had some really good games. We won uh, one of the five, so we were one and four against these guys. And uh, honestly, we were pretty happy with that because we don't we do not do this uh, pretty much ever. It's very rare that we do these uh, scrimmages. We're kind of waiting until 2.0. So these guys had a lot more uh, teamwork and coordination down than we do. Uh, so we were happy with uh, our one win, and we also had several. Uh, the other games were all within 1,000 points, I think, except for one. Uh, some of them were, we were just within a couple of kills. So they were all close matches. None of them were blowouts or skunks. So we had a lot of fun. Now if you watch, um, some of these games were uploaded on uh, Demetrius' channel. You can hear some of the chatter of uh, his teammates. So first to clarify a little bit of uh, some of the things that you may see there. He was confused about this snipe. Thought he was behind cover and I used armor piercing rounds to shoot through cover. You can clearly see uh, I did not. I don't, even, I don't have armor piercing rounds on this sniper. So um, at least not to my knowledge. If I do, I never use it. I'm using snapshot as you can clearly see with the ADS time. So anyways, uh, that sniper was clean, uh, straight shot to the back of the head as he was jumping well above cover, and uh, his orb landed back behind cover. Obviously, it's not up in the air, so that's why he was confused about that. So right here is just a little bit of good teamwork um, between me and Manny. Uh, you have uh, this guy's going to flank up on the left, and he's going to get me primed uh, pretty significantly. So I've got like little to no health, so I jump up high and let Manny prime the guy with a sniper round, and then I can finish him off, and then I turn around and prime uh, D for Manny to finish off with a melee. So just some good coordination there. Here was a fun play where I get golden gun, uh, and one of the guys walks right into my trip mine there. I get the kill. Hobie comes in for the uh, the revive, or I'm sorry, Manigator comes in for the revive right as D is pushing. So I instantly just jump straight up in the air and throw a throwing knife straight down onto his noggin. So I jump over his slide shotgun. I'm anticipating that's exactly what he's going to do. So instantly I just jump up over it, get one hip fire on uh, with the Mita on him, and then follow it up with a throwing knife for the kill. And we did manage to come out with a win on this match. Now this match was a fun match for me. Uh, I had some uh, really good snipe uh, kills and kill streaks here on this match that I was uh, pretty happy with. Uh, some good um, kind of uh, swivel shots with my LDR here. This is LDR with a short gaze and snapshot. And uh, <laughs> if you watch the video on their channel, uh, it's understandable because they can't see where I am at all times, but um, 
they, they're pretty adamant about me camping and just standing behind the heavy on the head glitch. But you can see I'm never back there. I'm never behind the heavy ammo using that head glitch. I go top of the stairs. I snipe in the cave. I snipe in Rotunda. And I snipe in the far left alley. So I'm not, definitely not camping. I'm actually watching three different alleyways here. And they're pushing up so aggressively that we honestly don't have time to rotate. We're trying to uh, manage targets as they come at us. And we end up getting um, a solid amount of kills here. I go on a six kill streak. Uh, so it was anything but camping. It was just managing them as they continued to push from multiple different angles. And I'm sniping in several different alleyways. So hope this was uh, fun for you guys. And uh, next time we do this, maybe I'll uh, remember to record all of the audio so you can hear our call outs and that sort of thing. Really looking forward to 2.0 and getting some changes in the Crucible and seeing how that's going to change up the competitive scene. All right, we'll catch you later, guys.